The National Insurance Board of Trinidad and Tobago is moving to amp up its compliance efforts in a bid to deal with the issue of employers who are failing to pay their required tax contributions. The concern was raised during a meeting of the Joint Select Committee on Friday. Janine Brown reports. According to the National Insurance Board of Trinidad and Tobago's records, there are 21,342 employers in this country. Of that figure, which the NIB accepts, is not a true reflection of the number of employers in Trinidad and Tobago, given that many businesses are not registered, some 4,000 employers are non-compliant with the Insurance Act. This means these employers do not pay contributions to the NIB, even as they continue to deduct the tax from employees' salaries. NIB Executive Director Nyla Passard Polia says that the NIB is monitoring this action and explains the kind of corrective action that is enforced. When there's an employer that is indebted to us, our first recourse really is not to sue the employer. Uh, the NIB has always adopted a very conciliatory and legal uh, approach okay. in terms of approaching the employer, allowing them to settle the debt via installments, promissory notes, or some sort of arrangements. When that fails is when we would actually go to court to litigate okay. the matter. As the NIB moves to enforce compliance, this also includes finding companies who have not yet registered and thus do not show up in their books. We have increased our audit numbers to, by 92%. So at the end of this financial year, we expect that we would have completed about 8,000 audits. And it is only through the conduct of audits that we can actually determine, one, whether they are employers who are moonlighting, and two, whether they are employers who exist but are not paying in the right contribution classes. The NIB currently has in its human resource 55 auditors to operate its compliance. It says 80 is the approximate number needed to carry out this task more efficiently. Janine Brown, C News.